何なんだこれは子猫それは見ればわかるよ Hey everyone, new type seed here once again to cure autism. And today we're going to learn how to play Felicia. Felicia is an extremely mobile rushdown character that can work well on point with assist in order to cover her fast but obvious avenues of attack, or as an anchor where she becomes extremely fast and can infinite opponents to death. Felicia cannot fly or teleport, but her fast wave dash, cat crawl, and frame advantage left on several of her specials help compensate on the lack of these options. Up close, Felicia has a deadly pressure game that can punish a number of reactions while putting her at frame advantage to a blocking opponent, and the unique ability to set up unblockable situations with her hyper. Felicia receives substantial buffs to make her a more complete character in Ultimate, allowing her to extend her combos and deal more damage. However, she still requires very quick inputs as well as a bit of timing and patience to get the most out of her. Chapter 1 Felicia Adventure 2 Battle Standing Light is Felicia's fastest normal at 4 startup frames and the link to her extended combos with Cat Spike and Rolling Slide. Crouching Light serves a similar purpose for hitting low, though it lacks the range of Standing Light. Despite this, you'll probably use it more often. By staggering out Crouching Light inputs and baiting advance guards, you can counter hit with your delayed Crouching Light or Cat Spike Light. If your opponent insists on blocking Crouching Light pokes, it still leaves them in range of Felicia's command grab. Standing Heavy can be used as an anti-air, its multi-hit properties will eat through super armor, and it's generally safe on block. In combos after doing Felicia's air loop, it can be difficult to hit with 3 times because of the way the hitbox works. In general, you won't be sacrificing much damage if you cancel it after 1 or 2 hits. S can also be used as an anti-air. Felicia's launcher in particular is negative 7 frames on block, and although it can still be heavily punished by most light attacks, characters like Dante whose normals are all greater than 7 will not be able to punish after block. In air to ground combat, Felicia's jump S is the only attack that can consistently cross up. In air to air combat, Felicia's best attack is her jumping heavy, as its hitbox is very large and the angle of it will poke out opponents higher than you. After contact, you can follow up with jump S to keep them blocking or juggle them until you hit the ground so that you can relaunch. Kitty Slash is a 2 hit normal dealing about the same damage as a fully connected standing heavy and should be used in ground combos prior to juggling or launching. It can also be used to car cancel into other specials, most notably her command grab. Though this is difficult due to how quickly you must cancel it so that Kitty Slash doesn't actually hit. Toy Touch is Felicia's OTG normal and is usable off any back or air throws or throw into the corner. You can still jump cancel the move by tiger kneeing the motions for rolling buckler or cat spike and have them work similarly to a vanilla, but there is a more damaging option in ultimate. Sand Splash instead takes over as Felicia's lead into Hypers, as the move is now OTG capable. However, the move needs to be done at a certain range in order for all the hits to connect and produce enough hits done for Felicia to follow up with a Hyper. This can be done by either landing and dashing back with two buttons while charging the move, or by ending an air combo early, then hold back, putting you in perfect range for the move to hit. Delta Kick is Felicia's most important offensive tool, as it can quickly get her across the screen and within range of the opponent. However, without an assist to cover her, the attack's telltale rise before Felicia comes down with her attack is an easy indicator from a distance for opponents to use projectile attacks and hypers. Learning to familiarize yourself with the angles of each version of Delta Kick will help in not soaring over your opponent's head and leaving yourself open. Guarded Delta Kicks leave Felicia on frame advantage so she can continue pressuring with crouching light pokes. If Delta Kick hits a grounded opponent, they become staggered and are open to a free combo opportunity. Hitting an airborne opponent causes a ground bounce instead, and will require combo adjustment to get the most damage out of it. In a combo, Cat Spike Light puts Felicia at just enough frame advantage to link the standing light. Cat Spike Medium gives even more frame advantage, and can cross up crushing opponents who aren't Xbox huge. In a combo, Cat Spike Medium can be linked into standing medium. Cat Spike Medium can be used twice in a combo on counter hit or a clean hit off of a grounded opponent, but will generally whiff on smaller characters mid-screen. In the corner, however, combos with Cat Spike Medium will work against everyone. Cat Spike Heavy sucks as it barely hits grounded opponents, does not have advantage on block, and always causes a ground bounce, lessening damage. Don't ever use it. Once you and your opponent tires of Cat Spike bullshit, you can start using Felicia's Rolling Buckler, henceforth known as Spin Dash, outside of combos to close push block distance as well. Always use a follow-up after it as it's completely unsafe and you'll look dumb if you don't and hey, free punish. The rolling slide follow-up is what you'll be using in Felicia's BNBs most times, and allows her to link into standing light to continue combos. It hits low, and while it's minus 4 on block, it's generally safe if you don't press any other buttons while your opponent attempts to punish. On hit, the slide will place you on the opposite side unless you're in the corner, so be sure to adjust your inputs accordingly. Neckle Punch is the safest follow-up at negative 2 frames on block, and can usually be followed up with a hyper. 
Rolling uppercut generally sucks as far as damage goes, but if you're using Strider's Vajra assist, you can do slightly more damage with it. When your opponent starts to get cute and block more, you can get them to start fearing Felicia's ridiculously good command grab. Hellcat works similar to Morgan's Vector Drain command throw in that the light version starts up slower and does less damage, but has enough range to land after 3-4 to four crouching lights. The heavy version starts up in one frame, but Felicia needs to be pretty close in order to land it. By comparison, only one blocked crouching light can be used before getting out of range. Regardless of the version used, all the throws deal the same amount of hit stun, allowing you to dash up an OTG with Toy Touch into a combo. EX Charge builds meter as long as you hold the button down, but it is more useful in cancelling blocked normals like Standing Heavy to reduce the amount of frame and disadvantage on block. Felicia's hypers aren't anything to write home about, but will get the job done as far as adding damage and DHCing from. Dancing Flash serves as her combo ender after Sand Splash. After startup, the hyper has a very small amount of invincibility, but will punish the idiot who decided to cancel his beam super when you're like 2 feet away or something. When DHCing out, ground based hypers should be DHC'd before the hit preceding the ending uppercut, while vertical based hypers can be cancelled after the entire thing. Kitty Helper can be piss fucking annoying and can help set up unblockables, as the little Neko's attack is an overhead. Getting your opponent into the corner and using this as opposed to Dancing Flash can help set up these unblockables and make Felicia's pressure game even more deadly than it already is. Mina Taskete gives her Goju Q frames of invincibility after the initial 8 frames of startup, and its range can be controlled to go mid and almost full screen by holding the light, medium, or heavy buttons after activation. As with all level 3s, it deals a huge amount of unscaled damage, and you can use it at the end of combos as opposed to Dancing Flash. However, you can actually OTG immediately after the end of the animation, enabling you to continue if used early in a combo, and end with Dashing Flash or even another level 3 if the hyper is used raw and you're able to land 2 air loops. Chapter 2, Felicia Hero! You shouldn't ever use Felicia's assist because you're a strong independent black woman who don't need no cad girl. However, if you decide you should use them, it's nice to know which ones suck and which don't. By far, Rolling Slide is her best assist. The move hits twice at mid and low ranges and can help set up unblockables. As a crossover counter, it is also invincible on the first frame of startup and can be used to escape pressure. Sand Splash Medium OTGs as normal, though the slow startup will require a late or low hitting knockdown that will allow you to land quickly. Cat Spike Medium also has the same properties as normal, but the startup is really long and Felicia will probably eat a hyper if your opponent sees her out. When choosing assists, you'll want ones that lock down the opponent and cover Felicia's painfully obvious avenues of approach to make sure you're not either zoned out by projectiles or get anti-aired by long-reaching normals. Doom's Beam or Missiles, Sentinel Force, Amy's Cold Sword, and Strider's Vajra are all good examples. In the corner, the use of Toy Touch Jump Cancel Cat Crawl can set some cross-ups with select assists and can lock down your opponent after they recover in the air. Iron Man's Repulsor Blast and Viper's Burn Kick are such assists that the opponent will have to guess which side to block as Felicia makes her way to the other side, and in Iron Man's case can dash under a few times to keep them guessing. Chapter 3, Felicia Unleashed. All of Felicia's combos that lead into an air delta kick will usually take your opponent to the corner. Because Felicia does not wear sunglasses, getting her to break 500k before a hyper will require quick fingers and links with standing light to get her more advanced combos down. When in doubt, Felicia's day one bread and butter combo ending with dancing flash will net you an easy 550k while mashing. Back dashing before sand splash heavy is important in order to have enough distance to put the opponent in enough hit stun and follow up with a hyper. Her more damaging combos, however, are her old combos from Vanilla with the integration of Air Delta Kick and Sand Splash. In these cases, the hit stun is usually so great you will not be able to use the Magic Button series to land and dash back before Sand Splash. Instead, you can use Jump Heavy and S and hold back immediately afterwards to send Felicia back while she lands and charges Sand Splash, or use a normal Jump S to land close enough to dash back. Felicia has an air loop that can start with jump light or jump medium. Jump medium should be used when jump cancelling after toy touch, while jump light can be used as a quicker normal on incoming opponents following a KO or a snapback. 
Either way, follow up with another jump medium and jump heavy, and delay the last jump S so it hits as late as possible. This allows Felicia to jump again after landing and do another repetition before finishing. When popping X-Factor, you'll generally want to stay away from extended combos, as Felicia falls faster and thus is not able to connect as often. When in X-Factor level 2 or 3, Felicia has access to her Cat Spike Light Infinite, which is easy to combo into from a normal Cat Spike Light as long as the opponent stays grounded. If you would like to continue using Felicia's BNB or hit an airborne opponent with Air Delta Kick or Cat Spike Medium, X-Factor level 2 and 3 can use a modified air loop to compensate for Felicia's faster fall. The air loop after Toy Touch is a single jump medium, then heavy and S as late as possible. You should only do one rep of these mid-screen after a BNB as it's very easy to cross under the opponent, but in the corner the number of repetitions you can do equals the level of X Factor you're in. Off a regular or command throw, however, the number of repetitions increases by one, so you can do three reps in X Factor level 2, and so on. Please note that while level 3 X-Factor loops are doable against anyone, level 2 X-Factor loops will require further adjustment on smaller characters. Characters like Rocket Raccoon are extremely hard to juggle due to their small hitboxes. Instead, do two normal air loop ones, making sure they have time to fall a bit before the second one, then launch and finish with magic. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope I've helped those of you who have been thinking of picking up Felicia since final round, or even earlier. As for the veteran Felicia players who've stuck with her since vanilla, I hope I did you guys justice. Again, if you feel something is incorrect about this guide, leave a comment or message and I'll be sure to answer any question you may have.